Daddy Bear. Say hello, hello everybody. everybody. Hello to the world. Is that Luna? See, I'm six months old. It's February first. I'm a few. I'm a couple days over six months. It is February. What is it? Second, third. We are outside swinging. That is insane now for Kentucky. You okay, sweetie? You and Daddy slow down. You say hi, Grandma and Grandpa. Hi, Grandma and Grandpa. Say hi, G Man, J Ma. Hi, G Man and J Ma. You wanna no. go higher? Is the weather you normally this warm at this time of year? Say hi. That's what I thought. Hi, you like it too? Hallie Jane is six months old right now. Hey everybody, Rita here. I am on my way home from Lexington and overnight with my girlfriends. It was awesome. It was so much fun. It was just the three of us from college roommates. Um, a couple quick things on that. We did two things I have to tell you about because I'd never done it before. One, um, we, after we got dinner, pizza downtown, we really wanted something sweet and we were already back at the hotel room in our pajamas. We had ice cream and cookies delivered to us. I didn't know that existed. So it was awesome. Um, it was called Insomnia Cookies. You should totally look up and see if you have anything like it. It was great. And then this morning, Geek Alert, um, I don't know if you've heard out, heard of breakout games, but that's what we did this morning as a little activity. And it was so much fun. I like felt like I was Mrs. Peacock and Clue. And um, it was just, you get little clues, you use magnifying glasses and black lights, and you're doing combination locks and trying to do math and puzzles. Um, some people might not like that, but it was really fun to me and it was a great group activity to kind of do something different. So look into that in your area. I think they're becoming more popular. And now I'm on my way home. Um, my in-laws are there. We're celebrating Jacob's first birthday tomorrow. I can't believe he's won. Um, I, he's guaranteed to make a mess of himself. I'm really excited though. Um, and I will check in with you then. What is today? Is it Super Bowl Sunday 2016? Who's in the Super Bowl? Do you know? Um, the Broncos and the Panthers. Sadie Jo has her robe on. She wanted to be like mommy. Mommy's robe. Sadie Jo's robe. And she has her heels on. Go, booby, go. I need shoes. You need shoes. Yeah, you look really cute today. Mommy needs shoes. Yes, mommy needs shoes. Okay. Perfect. Do what? She's growing, man. Boo, who has you? Is that your G? Do you love that donut that G brought you? Yeah. Yeah. What kind of donut is that? It's a twist. It's a twist. <laughs> is that the Burke's twist donut? That's good stuff, isn't it? Okay, so I don't know if you guys have ever had the same problem, but Sadie Jo has been having a difficult time learning her colors. And I seriously think it's because all the books that have the different colors in it and to learn the different colors, they're different crazy shades of the different colors. So I finally just decided, screw it. I'm just going to get crowns out. I'm going to make little circles and write the name of the color underneath it and see if she learned it. And she is doing such a good job with your colors now, aren't you? You got a treat for learning your colors, didn't you? So literally, look how simple this was. Put little dots of all the colors on it, and she is doing such a good job. We're gonna keep at hey it. Hey everybody, a it is today. Wednesday before Valentine's Day, and my dad, I call him Daddy Man, is literally the most amazing dad in the whole world, and the best G man ever, isn't he? He's the best G ever. He got he has gotten me Valentine's Day flowers since elementary school and he always gets me three red roses. He gets some for my sister and for my mom also. And he writes a special note, one, four, three. It's a special inside little meaning for our family. And it just means so much to me. I have the best dad in the whole world. Here are the beautiful flowers. They're so pretty, thanks G. Okay, so we are on our way to Ash Wednesday. And for those of you that don't know, we are Catholic. And it is a Catholic, um, uh, 
religious spiritual day of obligation and it is 40 or 47 days before Easter and normally what you do is you either try to do something good or try to give something up that's hard for you and I'm going to give up sweets and snacks like chips and that's gonna be the hardest one for me is chips I absolutely love chips it is February 11th and I had to jump on here really quick before I burn some supper so I'm not going to be able to stay long. But I wanted to give you a shot at some real life action here in the Harris house. Check out the mess going on behind me as I try to fix some supper. This is a daily occurrence. Um, anyway, we had Jacob's one year doctor's appointment today and everything is okay. Uh, he is uh, 29 and a half inches tall though, which means we really need a new car seat yesterday. So I'm going to have to jump on that really quickly. And um, let's see, 21 pounds. So he's basically the size Dorothy was at 15 months and he's 12 months, but he's still on the small size, except for the fact that he has a ginormous head. Um, but we knew that already. Anyway, he had a great birthday. He's happy. He's healthy. So are we. And I'm going to go before I burn supper. What color are those? Oh, Sadie Joe, your own box of chocolates from G. What the heck? Do you want to see the car? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is that you? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> what did you find? A Pablo got you here. You found his glasses. Good job. Oh, here he is. They were curious at that age. <laughs> we are at the Sky Zone Jumper thing where they had a little toddler activity, and Sadie Joe is out there jumping away. Found it, Eamon. Oh, man. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna get this pound. You helping? Yay! It's Miss Cindy helping you. Here's Grant. Woohoo! Hey guys, I am making dinner right now. I'm gonna show you. I'm making lasagna. It is the most amazing lasagna ever, and it's super easy. So all you have to do is just cook some one pound of ground beef, one pound of sausage cook that up and sometimes add a little bit more sausage if I want more flavor and um, I want a little bit more meat and I just um, brown that up and then I put in two jars of whatever marinara sauce that you want or pasta sauce. I like these two and then the easy part is you get oven ready lasagna so you don't have to boil it you just layer everything so you'll put your pasta beef sauce down, you'll put your noodles on, and then on top of the noodles you'll put um, ricotta. This is just ricotta cheese, one egg, and then it's got parsley flakes and oregano flakes, and then you layer cheese on top, and then you repeat. It's super easy and super yummy, and then we normally serve a side salad with it and some bread and some dipping sauce, and it is an amazing dinner. And little peeny weeny, Kelly Jane is teasing, aren't you? Are we not feeling good today? Look that sun is in our eyes, isn't it? Is that cold tea there, good? Yeah, it is. Lasagna yeah, it is. is layered and made. I am going to put a little aluminum foil over top of it, pop it in the oven. And then another thing, this is probably a beginner's tip, but I used to just put the pan in the oven and then it would always overflow into the oven. It would be a disaster. You'd have to clean it. So I'm sure all you guys already know this, but put your pans, anytime you have a full pan on top of a cookie sheet and then you should be good to go with no spilling in the oven. What is, do you like the lasagna? Yeah. yeah. Hi, sweetie. Can you say lasagna? Yeah. Good so, job. What you have to say, Mommy, that's good lasagna. That's good lasagna. Good, good job, <laughs> sweetie. Good job. Good daddy pounds. Give me Here's pounds. our meal, lasagna bread, Caesar salad, a little bit of dipping oil. Oh, I'm so sick of crying, of course. Here is the final product. Good morning, everyone. Happy yeah. Friday. I forgot to show you guys the roses that it, um, the girls and I got for Valentine's Day from my dad and then from Michael. And they've lasted a week, and I still think they look super pretty. So these are from and then my, my dad. husband. Kept up their tra tradition is keeping them going, and he sent us 
three roses as well. And it's just, it's so sweet and it means so much to me. Um, and I just love them. They look so pretty, don't they, boo-boo? <laughs> okay, and don't judge me, people. Yes, Sadie Jojo has a sucker, but she just went on the potty and we are trying to potty train. So her treat was she wanted a sucker for going on the potty this morning. Good girl. And then Hallie Janester is taking a nap this morning. I've got my little matching twinsies. Yes. So we got the Bengals. Those are our Bengals shirts. Yes, we are Bengals fans no matter what. True Who Day fans, baby. And then Sage wanted to wear a headband like Hallie. Yes. And then they had to wear the same jacket. No, I couldn't find Sajo's pants, Bengals pants. G-Man and J-Ma got them their Bengals pants and Bengals shirts, didn't they? Yeah. You got Aunt Bubba's boots on, looking so stylish. So okay, so I have to get this on video. We're going to the mall because I have to return a pair of pants I got from Michael that he doesn't like. And then um, I also have to get a gift for my girlfriend. One of my girlfriend's birthdays is coming up. Sorry, this door. And you have to see this. Sadie Jo wanted to be like me, be like mommy and have her own baby. Sadie, look at mommy. Turn around, let me see. <laughs> you were the cutest little styling thing ever. We are at our church's fish fry. It is last Friday and it is insane out. There's the line. Here is our place. Michael and Sage Ellis found somebody's over there. We are about ready to get our We are about ready to get our grub on. Yum yum yum. And then here's Hallie. Hey friends, it's February 17th, one month from St. Patrick's Day, which in my family that's a big deal. So I'm ready to move on from the hearts and get all my green decor out. I'll definitely have to show you some of that. Anyway, I wanted you to see that here in the middle of nowhere we still have snow, which means we still aren't getting out very much, but that's okay. Uh, we're making do, and my solution today to not dressing two kids into lots of snow clothes to go just be cold and stressed out in the snow, I have made them inside snow, and we've even added some food coloring, and we're having a good time, aren't we? Yes, we are. We are. We brought the snow in, and we've made it colorful. It's a winner. You should try it. Much better than dressing two kids and playing in the snow that they get cold in and they fall down in and they're close. It is Saturday morning, February. I'm not sure if it's the 20th. I'm not sure, but anyway, it feels like it's freaking 70 degrees out here. It is absolutely amazing. And Hallie Jane was constipated earlier this week and she went poo huge today. So we are we are living the life. Feels good. Sadie Joe and Daddy are Hi. walking down. Hi. 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 Look how cute. Susie, we're so happy. Do you love the outside? We are too? headed to church and we are late like always. We have nine minutes to get across town. That takes 12 minutes at least. Daddy's gonna drive good and fast but safe. Sadie Joe, where are we going? Uh, yeah. Church. Church. Yay. Ellie James, sure what are you doing back there? Good girl with your headband on. And then we're gonna find some place good to eat tonight. I'm not sure. Where are we gonna go, Mr. Michael Johnson? I don't know. Wherever sounds good to you, mommy. Make it Johnson. Where's make, your Mr. Make, Johnson? Mr. Johnson. <laughs> we just ate at Harry's. It's a chain of Malone's. It is right there. I forgot to show you guys the food. It's on. so good. And Sadie Jo is being a stinker and will not get, get in the okay, car. Let's go. In, sweetie. Let's go. Do you want to fall Everybody's out of the car? Everybody's going to see you in the video not being very good. Come on, be good. Do you want to fall out of the car? Oh my gosh, look how much you've got all over the back of that seat. There's the seat. Okay. Oh, welcome to the world of two kids. Almost under You're going to pinch your belly. Three. It's crazy. <laughs> now. Okay, show me your pose. Show me your picture. Oh, good pose. <laughs> good pose. Good pose. <laughs> Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Good job. 
How many of you guys remember taking the pink um, antibiotic when you were little, amoxicillin? Well, we've had in, ear, ear infections going around. Sadie Jo is already immune to this stuff. She can't take it, but Hallie Jane is on it. And we just took our medicine for tonight, didn't we? We're watching the UK basketball game. Oh, good lovings for baby. Good luck. Are you getting ready to have your baby? Is she in your belly? Yeah. Oh my goodness. And no, Sadie Jo has her doctor not kid out. out. She's not ready to come out yet? What's her name going to be? Huh? Okay, Girl. Did you have your baby? <gasps> uh, my first little granddaughter. Are you excited? Are you excited? <laughs> Howdy, Jane. Hi. Take it, take, 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 take baby to Hallie Jane. Let Hallie Jane's here. Let Hallie Jane has Good morning, everyone. Um, it is Monday morning, and it is a beautiful day out. It is 45 degrees. It feels a little warmer than that, probably because of the sun. We are headed out to get Daddy a new pillow. I kid you not, these pillows are the most amazing pillows ever. When we got our new bed, I got these pillows for myself because they're soft and just so fluffy. They're at... Um, Bed Bath and & Beyond, and if you have a 20% off coupon, they're not too bad. And they're supposed to have a lifetime, last a lifetime. You can wash them. I'll show you guys when we get to the store. But they are literally the best pillow Here ever. Hello. Here's the pillow that I was talking about, guys. Sorry. I forgot to film when I was in um, Bed Bath & Beyond. It is by the brand Indulgence. And my hubby wanted a king-size um, pillow. And it is literally the softest pillow ever and it's just amazing i mean it's synthetic down pillow so it shouldn't affect anyone with allergies um 500 thread count and then somewhere i know I must tell on the tag how to treat it. but anyway if you guys just want an awesome pillow that's soft and still just feels good every time you lay on it it is amazing okay so tonight i think we are going to go to i think you guys have already seen us but we're going to go to our pizza place that's literally like two miles from our house where sejo can make a pizza for a dollar which is just awesome and then michael loves pizza so it'll be a perfect dinner night um and then i think keep watching ladies but i think i'm gonna do a drugstore makeup tutorial so everything that you can buy at either your grocery store or cvs or walgreens or target or walmart anywhere um and it'll just be less expensive makeup that can still look really cute and last a long time so um keep a look out for that and then um here's Hallie jane stay with the you Say, Jojo, what are you doing, boo-boo? You going on the potty? Good girl. And Say, Jo is going on the potty. And we are at our, the Brick Oven Pizzeria right next to our house. And we are loving it because Monday night, you're going to make, little kids going to make their own pizza. And Say, Jo is going to make their own pizza. Aren't you? Are you excited? Yeah. So here is the make your own pizza. She's already putting the spinach on. we got cheese, pepperoni, tomatoes, and the sauce. Well, wait, boo-boo, we got to put the sauce on first. The sauce on first. All right, we cleaned up. Sejo ate her food. Here is the aftermath. We have big salad. We're gonna get. Good. Daddy's gonna get a box. Damn, it's good. Yummy, yummy in the tummy. We're gonna take it home, and then here's everybody filling up. See, it's just a cute little pizza place. Wow. Sissy's getting upset. See, it's time to go. Madagascar on Monday we night. We are watching Madagascar Part Three after we just went and got some pizza. Say, so Sadie Jo made her own little pizza. Mommy and Daddy split a pizza and a salad, and we all ate some cheese sticks. You were nummy in a tummy. Yeah. Oh, nummy tummy. Nummy in a tummy. Good morning. It is February twenty second, Monday. Um, ready to take off running this week. Uh, had a good weekend with the hubs and the kids. The weather was beautiful. No snow at our house anymore. It always takes forever for it to melt. Anyway, one of the things I hope to do today, because my mom um, doesn't work and she's at home, I'm hoping she can watch one or both of the kids for a short time while I run into town. Because yesterday, my sister's birthday is this week. Um, I think she's going to come down and hang out with us. We haven't seen her for a little bit. And we haven't just had 
sister time in forever, I think. Um, so yesterday I made this beautiful little piece of art. I like to call it Poe and Pete, an original. Um, these are watercolors that Dorothy has done over the last, I don't know, several weeks. She's been really into watercolor painting. So I just cut them into squares and mounted them on this blackboard. Um, so I want to go into town to our local Goodwill, more or less. It's called The Gathering Place. I love to go there and just find things I can refurbish and do interesting stuff with furniture. Um, also get cheap clothes for the kids to play in and trash because I don't really care what happens to them that way. Um, I've gotten shelves and things there. But anyway, I'm hoping I can find a picture frame that this will fit. And then I can uh, spray paint it or something like that to uh, give it a look that'll fit the watercolors and that will be my sister's birthday present from Dorothy and I. So I will let you know how it goes. Happy Monday! Hey guys, I'm here at the gathering place and actually I found exactly what I'm looking for. I'm so excited. Um, they've got all sorts of frames here, super cheap, like two dollars, four dollars, whatever. And I found this one that my picture is going to fit in just perfectly without really any cropping or matting and um, it's a goldish color it's a little beat up but it's uh, $2.50 I think so I'm going to run over to the store right next door a hardware store and get some spray paint that will look good with the painting and we should be good to go with like a less than $5 okay gift. I swung by the little hardware store here and I picked up just some ivory spray paint like three bucks um, won't even need to use half of it to do the frame which is the frame which it's got some sort of watercolor in there now, so I don't know that I'll keep it. I'll do something with it. Um, and then here's our painting. So I probably won't actually get the project done to make a video, but be sure to check the blog next Tuesday, and I will include it in the 10 Things Tuesday. See you all next month. Oh, why? Good morning, everyone. We are having a fingernail paint party. Say, Jojo, show your fingernails. They look so pretty. We had all, she wanted pink, so we had all four of these colors, and she chose this one, the L'Oreal one. L'Oreal actually makes really good fingernail polish. And then I'm going to paint, paint my fingernails, and I do a three-step process. So I put a base coat on, OPI, and then um, I've got my Zoya nail polish. It's like a blue. It's really light blue. You can't really tell in this picture. It's really pretty. And then I'm going to do the top coat in this Sesha V day. How to say it. Then we're going to take Daddy to the airport. And then later today, me, my mom, and my sister are going to a play. And Sadie Joe and Hallie Jane are staying with G and J Ma, aren't you? Yeah. yeah, that's so much fun. You look cute today. What are you watching? Uh, Peppa Pig. Peppa we are on our way to Danville, Kentucky, where my parents live. Um, I call. Mom, Mooma, Daddy Man, G Man, J Mom, and Dad got us girls um, tickets to a play, and then he's gonna watch the girls for us. So it's gonna be so much fun. We'll take you along for the ride. We're supposed to go to dinner, but I'm running away. It will make a difference then. Yeah, definitely. All right, we are in Danville. We're getting ready to go have dinner, and this is the shopping center that has always been here. And that J.C. Penny has been there forever. Pivot Sports is newer. That wasn't always good. That was goodies before, and now it went back, and now it's goodies again. No, wasn't that it goodies? was uh, Peebles. No, but it was goodies before Peebles, wasn't it? No, goodies was way over there at the other shop. Okay. No, but I think that was goodies originally, and then goodies went over there. I don't know. Anyway, we're going to the good old old Charlie's. This was not here when I used to live here when I was in high school. The McDonald's was, though. Right? Yeah, the McDonald's has been up on that hill forever. McDonald's on the hill. So we're gonna get some good old food, grub, and then we're gonna go to the play. G-Man is watching the girls. And this is just a fun little girls night out. Girls night out. Hello, ladies, how are we doing? Hi, good, thank you. Okay, so these rolls are amazing and they are awful in Lexington. I see how good the O'Charlie's food is here compared to Lexington. How many of you guys love the O'Charlie roll? Um, Mommy, you can say that your husband has a full head of hair. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, we are discussing, we're trying to find, Rita actually is trying to find a guy for Haley to um, maybe go on a date with, or we just want to, we want her to have a boyfriend and have a guy that she can hang out with. So, 
I'm not going to say names because just, just if randomly by okay, chance. Now this is the valet. Is, oh. Unless we want to do the valet, you got to go down and turn left at the. At the so Haley. Stop. <laughs> Everyone gives you a hard time, right? Yes. Yes. You never know. This might be the guy. Why not? Hopefully the right guy comes along soon, though. He's coming someday. Yeah. The Lord has him picked out. I just keep telling the Lord, bring him when you're ready. And he will. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> this is a parking lot right here. We are headed there. into the play, and it actually feels really good for the end of February. I mean, it's a little chilly, but it feels pretty good. And there's lots of people going to this place. Everybody keeps going in the parking lot and there's no, no space. Claudia, <laughs> <laughs> right. you have your tickets? Yes. Yeah. All right, we'll show you what it looks like inside. I probably, they'll probably make me take this down, but I'm still gonna show them what it looks like. Okay, check out this guy. Okay, we are in the North Center now. We finally got to our seats. We were on the wrong side down there. We should have gone in. Had to go through all the people. <laughs> yes. Mom had to go through all the people. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> So, Bo, hey. ready for the play? I literally think the last time I went to a play was in New York. We were on Broadway for The Little Mermaid with Michael, so I'm super excited. And stay. Hey, everybody. We got through the first part of the play. We're at intermission now, and it was so good. I don't know how people can dance and sing like that, and their outfits are so cute. Sadie Jo would love this. Yeah, I think she would honestly sit still through it because it's so cool. What do you think, Belle? She gets old enough. It's pretty cool. If she gets old enough, we'll, have to, we'll start bringing her. Yeah. The one that, you know, no, not the one that showed her boobs, remember? No. no. Oh, come on. She, Mom. she don't put her boobs out like that and went. That was the one that she got the real big rod. Oh, you know, she's the one that, that like, stuck her boobs out. Always stuck. wanted to try to get all the men. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know who you're talking about. The Annie girl or something. Yeah, maybe was it. I wasn't paying attention to her. I didn't notice her that much. The one with the boobs. Are you <laughs> kidding? Well, Mom? she didn't have boobs, but she kept sticking them out. Mom. What are you paying attention to? It was really good though. It's way past our bedtime. It's 10.05. We're old women. But it was good, wasn't it? That was pretty cool. Pepper. For being at center, it was pretty like top of the line. I yeah, thought. it was really good. Yeah, that was good. The old woman was the best. Yeah, she was She was she just good. good. Like and she could boy, she could belt the songs too. <laughs> What'd she say? What's JoJo doing? G had to go to work. Say love you, G. Love you. You ready to throw it? You ready to throw it? Ready? Watch, watch. Oh, I throw it. You better get it. You better get it. You got it. JoJo caught it. Jojo <laughs> We are literally having freak out session tonight. What is going on? So we are having freak out session. <laughs> Welcome to the John.